welcome back as part of our uh, series of topics that we are covering as part of the mathematics uh, related sessions today we will have a second session for probability theory uh, so let's get started just a reminder in previous topics uh, that we covered as part of the previous session was what is probability sample space and then we looked into how to calculate probability and then we have gone through some of the examples as part of our last session so now today what we will be covering is uh, joint probability then mutually exclusive events and conditional probability so these will be the three focus uh, things we will be covering and the last thing what we will have is exam problems and some of the examples uh, we will see covering all the three major areas now let's get started first uh, we'll pick up joint probability so say for example uh, we have x and y uh, are two events so in this two events the joint probability of uh, having both the events is represented as p x y probability of having x and y is equal to probability of x multiplied by probability of y so let's uh, go with an example so that we understand what it means let's take two boxes a and b filled with balls so box a have four white balls and three black balls and in box b we have three white balls and four black balls so a ball is randomly picked from each box then what is the probability of getting white balls so now if you look into the uh, into the graph and, and solution right so first we'll talk about the solution the probability of getting white ball will be uh, the total number of balls in box a is 7 so when you pick a ball from box a the probability of getting white will be 4 by 7 since we have four white balls in box a similarly if you look into box b there are three white balls and four black balls so now the sum of total balls in b and a are same that is 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 but in box b the white balls are 3 so the probability of getting white ball when you pick a ball from box b is 3 by 7 so as uh, we have come up with the formula here like p x y the probability of having both the events same is equal to probability of event x into event y so that will be like 4 by 7 into 3 by 7 which is nothing but 12 by 49 so just to give us some more uh, explanation about it uh, there is a oh, there is a set of events uh, a b and c uh, which is which is uh, given here so in that when it comes to the joint probability it's the overlapping area where uh, the probability of having uh, the uh, the outcome that we are looking for will come from so that is how it depends or represents represented on the graphs on the sets so wherever you see the overlap that is the point where you will get the probability of having both the events when you are doing together okay so now we will 
uh, move on to the next uh, topic here, which is mutually exclusive events. So here what we want to say is like a two or more events which do not have any common elements in known as mutually exclusive events. So probability of mutually exclusive events is calculated in the way like probability of uh, say for example A and B are two mutually exclusive events. So then probability of uh, having of A and B is probability of A plus B which is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. So this is how we try to calculate it. Let's get uh, more details by looking into an example. So if I have a, a deck of cards from which a card is picked from a deck. So what is the probability of getting a queen or a jack? So now when you try to go into the solution, getting a queen and getting a jack are two independent, uh, mutually exclusive uh, events. Why? Because there are four jacks and four queens in a deck of cards. So whenever you are picking something, it will be either picked from that, uh, to get a jack, it will be like from that four jacks that get picked up. And it has nothing to do with uh, getting a queen. And then getting a queen is again independent because if it gets picked from that four queens from the deck, only then you will have that event happen. So now to represent it uh, first, uh, to represent that set, uh, we will first look into the solution. So then the probability of getting a queen is four queens in a set of uh, deck of cards, which is 52 cards, which is 4 by 52 plus 4 jacks, so it will like be 4 by 52 again. So then sum of those two is like 2 by 13. So there is a probability of, if you pick up 13 cards, then the probability is like 2 cards you will get, where 2 times you might get a jack and a queen. That's what it's said. So now here it's, uh, it's presented in the graph like how independent sets would look like. So event A and B and C have nothing common in it. So happening of uh, them is independent without any dependency on each of these events. So there is no overlap here because they are not mixed with it. Let's move on. We'll, we'll uh, go into the next. Uh, third topic uh, for this session, which is uh, conditional probability. So in this conditional probability, the understanding is and a, a first event has happened. And now based on that, we are saying like since the first has happened, then what is the probability of a second to happen? So it's like a uh, based on the first condition, we say like what is the probability of getting the uh, second even also to a favorable result. So now for calculating this, we will have an expression probability of A by B because it's a conditional one. Probability of happening A when B has already happened is like probability of happening of both A and B by the probability of B which already happened. So to elaborate, we have an example. A box has three red marbles and six green marbles. Two marbles are picked at a time. So the first marble picked, already picked, is red. Then we are seeing like what is the probability that the second marble pick is also red. So look into the solution. What we will have is now when in uh, when the marbles are picked at a time like one by one when you have picked the first marble as uh, from the example we have like three red marbles so when the first marble is already red so how in, in the in the set of uh, marbles we have the total count is green plus red 
which will be around nine marbles. But since we are looking at the conditional probability, your first marble already we picked is red. So we know that the event red has already happened. So when we are trying to pick the second marble, then it will be like out of the three red marbles already you have picked one. So then it will be like a two red marbles available and then you have six green marbles available. So then the sum will be like a two uh, red plus six green which will be like a total space of eight and out of that two are red marbles. So since the event red has already happened, the probability of having uh, another red is 2 by 8. Okay, so this is how it has been uh, calculated. Now we'll go over the examples uh, to just cover and understand how to apply the uh, conditional probability or mutually exclusive events and joint problems. So here uh, we have one example like two boxes A and B are there. In box A we have three, three green marbles and four blue marbles and box B have three blue and four green marbles. A marble is picked randomly, find the probability of getting a green marble. So this again uh, it's, it's a joint uh, probability. So since we are picking the uh, marbles from both the boxes and trying to find the probability of getting a green marble. So here the sample space is same, like we have seven marbles uh, in each box, uh, but the green uh, marble in box A is three and green marble in uh, box B is four. So when we apply that, uh, the rule of probability of x, y having together is probability of x into probability of y, which is nothing but uh, we will like uh, 3 by 7 into 4 by 7, which is 12 by 49. Now we'll look into the second example. A dice is rolled, find the probability of getting 4 or 5. So now getting 4 or 5 on rolling a dice are two mutually exclusive events. So considering that we have a formula of like we add up the both, both, both the events of having when they are mutually exclusive, exclusive we have seen in our previous slides. So now the probability of getting 4 is 1 by 6 and probability of getting 5 is 1 by 6. So then the probability of A and B have, having 4 and 5 uh, is like a sum of probability of having 4 plus uh, probability of having 5 which is nothing but 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 2 by 6 that is nothing but 1 by 3. Now let's, in, let's look into the uh, last example where we have two cards uh, which we picked it randomly from a deck of cards. First one is a red card and find the probability that the second card is also red. So now uh, from the given data two cards are picked from a deck of cards. First one card was red and the second we are checking whether what is the probability of getting that one has red. So the condition here is like the first card already picked is red. So that it falls under the conditional probability. So now as per the probability of uh, second card to be red is we have 25 by 51. So we have a deck of uh, 52 cards in that since one card is picked now the sample space has come down to 51 and generally we will have uh, like equal quantity of 
26 and 26 cards of red and black. So now here the probability since we already picked the first card from the deck which is red. Now the number of red cards left in the deck are 25. So because of that the probability of getting the red card again is 25 by 51. So that is where I think we have gone through the, some of the examples for all the three uh, probability theories. So there this we complete uh, this session with this. Thanks for watching and please, please do subscribe this uh, channel and we'll continue coming up with more learning sessions on other topics as well. Thank you for being with us. Happy learning.